I'm going to speak about uh, love where 50% of the world population is affected by a form of disability, which means uh, 1 billion people around the world. Sexuality is a human right. I don't have to say, right? Although it is clearly stated in the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, words like uh, needs, autonomy, and dignity stands out in the, in the Article 25. Although it's not so easy and sex is still a taboo for people with disability, even for people um, that are able, but uh, especially for people with disability, uh, privacy and um, sexuality is still not easy, you know, especially for uh, Maria, uh, who is a person we interview in one of our focus group. Uh, she's in her 40s and without the help of a sexual assistant was not able to touch her nipples till her 40s, you know. So uh, it's, it's a market uh, that is uh, growing and it's estimated that uh, the adaptive sex toys market will uh, grow till uh, 7 billion by 2027. Nevertheless, 80% of the able-bodied people uh, are interested in uh, um, uh, connected uh, um, devices and sex toys. So we team up with uh, different professionals, uh, engineers, uh, uh, material engineers, uh, psychology as well. We prepare questionnaire, we had focus group, and we met people with uh, disabilities, people that uh, are not experiencing uh, so easily their sexuality. And we came up with a product uh, which is a pillow pillow that you can explore in its surface, you can touch it, and the underwear will activate accordingly to the way you are touching the pillow. So there are inflatable inserts that will activate based on the touch applied on this pillow. So you can explore the pillow by yourself or a partner can explore it for you. You can squeeze it even with your own head if you can't really touch it with your arms. We are now at the second prototype uh, and uh, we are going to test it. We, we are thinking about uh, the system optimization, uh, a simplification of the system uh, and, uh, and so on. So you can see the, um, our roadmap. We are uh, product designers, experience designers, and we team up with the company ConfTech uh, who is pioneering in, the sex, in textile sensors and monitoring system. Uh, we are looking for collaboration with the association, sex toys manufacturer, and, uh, and that's it. This is uh, uh, Love Well. Thank you. Perfect, Emma. It was dot on three minutes and an amazing presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I would like to go now to our jury members for their questions. From you, Emma. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Um, it looks like you've really done your, your research and I appreciate how much focus groups and, and listening to the users you've done. Um, my question is really, um, people with disabilities cover such a broad range of different parts of the body that are affected or different mobility issues. So how do you kind of ca cast a wide enough net to serve as many people's needs as possible and how many different types of disabilities uh, can, can you target? Yeah, uh, so our focus was uh, on movement impaired people, you know, so uh, the idea was to help uh, who can really explore by their own, uh, their bodies. And uh, the idea was, uh, yeah, more uh, focus on the exploration, you know, um, the touch, you know, the idea of uh, uh, a person who was not able to touch herself, her own breast or on her own genital, you know, this was uh, somehow uh, guiding us and creating a product that could give some uh, autonomy uh, to people. You know, the, the only way uh, that, um, that people have, people with movement impairment have is to have an assistant and um, and be assisted by someone else so uh, the idea was to give some dignity and some privacy as well uh, to people who can't really use uh, their own hands easily and this also um, i mean you know uh, disability is something that can happen to you anytime 
doesn't mean that if you don't have a disability now, you will never have it. Of course, you, you, it's something that could happen with the aging, you know, uh, which is uh, another aspect uh, of the product. Uh, I mean, another thing that uh, the product could support. I don't know if I was uh, exhausted. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. In terms of your um, go-to-market strategy, could you talk a little bit more about that? I saw that you were looking for partnerships. Do you think you would go as your own brand? Would you go in collaboration um, with a sex toy manufacturer? Can you talk a little bit about how you will offer the product yeah, we are, looking for, uh, we are looking for collaboration because we don't really see ourselves as manufacturer of these sex toys uh, or distributors, uh, uh, in which sense uh, we are working on uh, several projects related to disabilities and not only related to sexuality. Uh, so definitely we are looking for uh, collaboration with the, uh, a brand that is already established uh, uh, on the market, a manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, so question from my side, I saw you started in 2019. Mm -hmm. What has been the most surprising turn that you made on your discovery so far? Like the most striking insight that you generated for you as a team? As a team, uh, I think, you know, because in the beginning, uh, uh, of course, uh, we were working on the idea, but uh, I think the most important part was the focus groups, the focus group, you know, the moment in which we explain our idea uh, to, um, to girls that are experiencing the problem every day. And, you know, we were having some, uh, it's not that we were having some doubts, uh, but of course we were having the idea, but we were not experiencing ourselves uh, uh, the problem, you know? So uh, that was uh, the most, uh, um, exciting given part of the project, you know, uh, the most revealing. We, we have seen that uh, uh, there is a real need. Of course, we were thinking there is the need because there are, we, we, have, we have made a, um, a survey, we were looking for the market, we were trying to explore which are the uh, sex toys available uh, on the market that uh, could work well uh, with disabilities, but uh, um, the, the most important feedback was uh, given by the people we met uh, during our focus groups. And I think this was even the, the best part in developing the project, you know? Okay, as we deliberated <laughs> as a group, um, we really thought about the Innovation Award as a company that was taking a really unusual and potentially beneficial approach to solving a problem. And so the Innovation Award from our perspective goes to Witsense for creating an entirely different user experience and user interaction focused on people with disabilities with an acute awareness of what some of those limitations and opportunities that company might be able to solve with the combination um, of the pillow and the, and the underwear. So congratulations with sense.